on Mads the Wild and Family. You can find us on YouTube right now. Mark's already getting ready. Mark, can you not say poo or bum or boobs today, please, at all, because the kids are going to be there. You've just said it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I must say what? Poo, bum? I mean, no, don't. Have you actually pressed live? Of course we're live. Oh, God, Mark, you should have told me. I said we're going live. I could have said anything. You said Guys, we were live. Guys, can live now on YouTube? I literally, no Mark, honestly, I did not know we were live. Do not. If that made anyone dizzy in their lounge, if anyone's watching on a 60 inch telly. <laughs> do you know, I used to love that thing when we used to spin the girls around when they were kids yeah. and their eyes would carry on like this. Yeah, well, do you remember they go? Love that. And you'd think for a minute you'd done something terribly Can wrong. Can you to just them. tell people if they're not watching this live what to do? What do they need to do? Scroll. Scroll? Pardon? Turn it Hi guys, if you're not watching this live, just scroll for oh. a couple of minutes and we'll get to the recipe. Orange Jams, Heather Hardacker, Kerry Saxon, Louise Jones. <gasps> Louise Jones just said poo bum bum. No, stop it. Hello from sunny Spain, Stacey Spencer, Barclay, Allison, O'Sullivan, Alby 50, Megan Black. Uh, what's the best thing for a burn? Megan Black's just burnt herself in the oven, lads. Uh, well, Slap round the head. Well, to run it under cold water for a lot longer than you can even bear to, that's where people go wrong. I once spoke to a burns a specialist about that. It's something like 15 minutes you're supposed to run it wow. under. Oh, no. Liz Lowe is watching with a cup of tea and a rock cake. Oh, yum. Um, it's one of my rock cakes. Ellen Jane Cook says bum bum poo. <laughs> No, stop it now. Sarah Walker, bum Rude. bum. Rude, stop it. Moira Instance, like that name. Uh, hello from Australia. Fiona Cargius. Cargius. Hello from my comfy sofa. Where are you getting your energy from? Do you know what? We don't actually know, because two minutes ago we were flat out exhausted, man. I've just done a workout, which is why I've got my New York cap on. And uh, I'm a little bit sweaty. Uh, what else have we got going? Hi from Malta, Jason Keown. Hello from Cork, Hi, Abby Lehane. Hi there. And Murray, we need to do a tour of Ireland because we have so many followers and subs in Ireland. We are going Matthew to Purvis, I'm doing very well. How are you? Vicky Susanna, I love carbonara almost more than I love Nadia Sawala off the telly. Wow. Yeah, I really do. I like it with cream, I like it with bacon. I love the lot of it, please, in my tum-tum. Oh, you can eat this after because you've just done a workout. I've just done a workout. So I can eat what you can't, guys. How does that make you feel? Seriously, honestly, tell me. Right, guys, you're going to have to pretend that this is parmesan. Okay, I'm going to spin you around. Are we going to see some cooking now? Are you ready for me? Yeah. Are you ready or are you just nearly yeah. ready? How many minutes are we in? You're three minutes in. Okay, we're ready. Oh, Julie Steele Smith. Hi guys, I've caught a live at last, yay, and you've got a shout out. Welcome. So here you go. Oh, There's Nadia Swala off the telly. It's really easy when you're at home all the time, but forget to drink water, that makes you so tired when you don't drink water. So drink lots. Jeannie of water. Kyle, hi from Motherwell. Hi, I like, I like, yeah, Motherwell, I like Motherwell. Right, carbonara. There's not many people I know that don't like carbonara. Kids, that's the creamy, cheesy, bacony pasta. It's Italian, of course, from Italy. And carbonara comes from, it used to be cooked on an open fire and you get little dots of black ash come from the fire, the car, carbonara. Oh, that's right, I remember you saying. The weird thing is, can I just share with the subs here? We've had carbonaras in countless Italian restaurants and they've never been good. Right, okay, well, just a little thing on that. Now, if there's any Italians watching, they might not like my carbonara. Ah. Because actually the traditional carbonara, like you get in Italy, kids and grown-ups, doesn't have cream in it. Ah. And what you have to do is, you, you, it's, a very, it's a real skill with carbonara, because what they do is they just use eggs. So probably two whole eggs and an egg yolk and lots of cheese. But what they do is, and then what they do is, they add a little of the pasta water. Mm -hmm. So it has to be the pasta water with the starch in. So they put the spaghetti in, they put their raw eggs and their cheese in, and then they have to throw in the water and shake it all about wow. so they get like a creaminess. But traditionally, I think most people in this country prefer some cream. Can so sometimes I do it without cream, and I do it in a more 
traditional way, but today I'm going to do it a bit the Brits way, the way the Brits like it. Dawn Rosenbaum says, you never shout me out. Lots of crying emojis. Dawn Rosenbaum, that's Baum. not fair. That's not that's fair. not fair. So we're shouting you out. Dawny Rosenbaumy, there you go. So look, I'm just putting a clove of garlic and a little olive oil just to flavour the olive oil. We're not going to actually eat that garlic. And here, I usually do a rasher of bacon per person. So I've got four rashers. Oh, I can cut that one off. Four rashers of bacon. I much prefer streaky, or you can use a large ones, is even better. And smoked. You don't want unsmoked. You definitely want smoked bacon. Uh, much nicer. I yeah, know, yeah. You just, I just realised we've got another live we need to do tonight. It's the first night of normal people. Yes. Okay. So, um, you want to cook them so they're just brown. Standing away because it's very hissy. Okay. If I come alongside you, you can hit the microphone, you see. Go. So I've already cooked my spaghetti. So, they're just cooking away. Now, I've cooked it. Usually, I would say to you, when you're frying stuff, you don't need to use olive oil. But because what we're going to do is take that pasta afterwards and toss it in this um, bacon and oil, I wanted it to be olive oil. So that garlic will just be flavouring the oil. It'll be delicious. Okay, I'm going to leave that to cook and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the sauce. And Anita O'Reilly is saying, asking, is there a vegetarian version of this carbonara, please? Just looking for ideas. Yeah, just don't have the bacon or use fake bacon. Oh. And use veggie cheese. Oh, right, okay. Yummy. So I'm going to put two eggs into 200 mils of cream. You can use low fat cream if you want. And then I'm going to whisk that up. Now, what a lot of Brits don't do with their carbonara is put lots of black pepper, which traditionally there should be loads of black pepper. But of course, if you don't want black pepper, you don't have to. I'm just going to just that a bit of a... Shirley oh. Finlinson, I love the smell of bacon cooking in the morning. Sounds like a line from Apocalypse Now. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. So you want it just like that. You don't yeah. want it too crispy. If it was just for me, I would have it so, so crispy. Mark doesn't like it that crispy. Okay, so sorry, just, just quickly. Um, Julie Neary is watching on a 50-inch TV screen. Ah! So just for you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right, I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that oil because I don't want that much in my spaghetti. Sorry, darling. Sorry, darling. Someone's asking, could you do a cookery nice. lesson for Giros? Giros. Giro, yeah. yeah. I love Giro. Definitely. I did it on my cookery show, and I just family feast. I love them. Okay, so now I'm going to put my spaghetti. Where are you going to put that? You might want to go over there now, Dave. You're going to do just the sound. Into the oil. Yeah. Oh, the sound's nearly over no, now. I've just, no, I've just, I've just yeah. noticed when it's fizzing, yeah. I'm, when I'm here, I've got it right on you. Yeah. So. so I'm just going to put a little bit of that water that I saved from the spaghetti. Oh, yes. Just to loosen up the... Oh, God, a little bit more. I'll Sticking a bit, isn't it? I'll put that in too hot a pan. No. It's all right. Please me now. So... Where's my black pepper? Show us your yeah. t-shirt, it's so cool. Gonna be doing, oh, I'll tell you about that after. So, I'm gonna put my cheese. Ooh. Now imagine that's parmesan. I, I, I thought I had some parmesan and I didn't. So you want a really nice big handful of parmesan. Okay, now I'm gonna mm. pour that on my spaghetti. Mm. So I've got my eggs, my cheese, my cream. And it's off the heat now. Because that egg, the egg will, will cook. And you want to keep it moving because you don't want lumps of egg. Oh, look at that. Hazel Kinvig Paul made your 15 minute biscuits the other day. They were more like the texture of scones. Did I not flatten them enough? Which biscuits? They were nice though. 15 minute biscuits. I don't know what they are. Can't remember which ones they were. They, were, they the, were they the flat top griddle scones things? The griddle scones. Let me just finish this and then All right, have a bit. Sorry. Okay, so Ooh. then put my bacon on. Oh, look at that. Now, what did I say we need loads of? Traditionally, oh, take the garlic out. You could eat it if you wanted to. Oh. Bobby Ward, we are all going and thinking, mmm, yum. Well, look at that. I'm thinking, yum, yum in my tum tum. I love my bum bum. Mark! 
doesn't that look sensational? That so I always leave a little bit of bacon phenomenal. to put on the top. Mix some in. What do you Ooh. think, kids? Are any kids watching today? Any kids out there? Do they think they're going to make that? It's a great one for kids, actually. It's when, really When Kiki nice. first had it, she was like, why haven't I had this before? I think it's almost uh, a necessity to have it with a nice green salad. Yeah. Just to cut through the um, cheesiness. Oh, hello. Okay, extra bacon. Always critical that you have a little bit of pepper on top, I find. Some extra pepper. And Mark? Oh. Here you go. Yes. Coming in. Mark is now going to try it. Look at that in the line. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? See how easy that is, guys. Lucy Rose says she's a very fussy eater, but that looks nice. It is a nice bowl, isn't it? Mm. Adele North, watching with my 13-year-old daughter, Keely. Hi, Keely. Make this for dinner tonight, Keely, if your mum's got the stuff. So with the cheese, big handful of cheese, parmesan or... Ch That's actually cheddar because I couldn't find any parmesan. It's basically delicious. creamy, cheesy, bacony, peppery. You don't have to have the pepper. Oh. Serve it with a nice side delicious. salad. I might have a bit more pepper on it. Mmm. Really, really nice. So, guys, that's it. Really easy spaghetti carbonara. He's just having some more black pepper. Um, so, don't forget, oh, check out my Instagram stories to join up um, with my friend who's going to be doing 80s, 15 minute 80s aerobics classes. 11.30, Wednesdays and Fridays. I'm going to be doing them every Wednesday and Friday with her as well. So, join us for that. Single or double, Tasha. I use double today, but can you use single or double? And we're going to do... Um, Normal People tonight. Eight o'clock live. Eight o'clock live, live tonight. And then we're watching a show called Normal People. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.